get ready for Steambot Chronicles. Hey there, folks. This is Bobo the Vulture. I hope you enjoy it. Steambot Chronicles. And it's time to uh, it's time for more Let's Play of Steambot Chronicles. Yes, it is. Boy, howdy. I'm gonna load up this game. Yep, this is the one. I recall being dressed like this. I hope I enjoy it. But yeah, folks. It's, um... Do I have my, uh, tri-mobile here? I do. Climb aboard. Yeah. I know that, uh, yesterday I said that we might end up being on a boat. But, um... I tried to, as spoiler-free as possible, check ahead a little bit to see how long it would be before I could enter a quest to actually clear out the Quail Tunnel, because there's some stuff in earlier towns I want to get accomplished. And it's going to be a while, so this is going to be a video of backtracking, folks. I'm just warning you. Um, I can leave in the uh, actual item description whether or not we get all the way back to... Um, let's see, City Motors. Let's go to City Motors first, though. So I think I want to pick up at City Motors. So I think I want to pick up at City Motors, and when I have, I'm going to develop a new part with it. Actually, one other thing I should do while I'm in town before I leave as well. Because it's already pretty late. But, uh, Dandelion gave me a letter to give to Connie, and I never did give it to her. I know it's late, but hopefully she will appreciate the fact that I gave her the letter. Hey there, what's wrong? Well, it's curious that you should ask that, actually. Uh, well, first of all, let's go ahead and buy, sell, and develop some frames. I'm gonna buy a frame. Let's see, we've got a sniper arm. That's pretty fancy looking. Don't have enough money for it, though. Claw arm. It's a strike weapon. Strike heads! I'm going to buy a claw arm. One claw arm. And then I'm gonna cancel out of here. Cancel out of here. I'm going to replace my frames. I'm going to replace my left arm frame. Which is currently in our ball and chain. I'm going to go ahead and make it a normal arm. Because I want to use the ball and chain to develop a new frame. That's cool. Um, allow me to develop a frame. That's right. The spiked ball. Five star. Five star weapon. That is class. Extremely powerful arm, which combines the strength of the claw and the ball and chain. I want one of those. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah! I developed a spike arm. Okay. So, let's replace my frames, because I'm pretty sure I want to put that back on my left arm. Let's go with spike ball. Oh no, I'm too heavy now. I gotta lose some weight, or get heavier legs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to buy new legs or something. Let's remove this for now. We just won't have a right arm. Temporarily. That's cool. Um, what kind of legs do you have to sell me? You have human legs small. Could pick up a four wheeler. It'd be enough to get me around. Great for long distances and can handle rough terrain. Oh, its weight is 147. That would be enough. Hmm. You know, eventually I'm going to buy all this stuff, probably, so I might as well. So now, I am in a game about Trotmobiles, and I got a four-wheeler. Or I'm about to have a four-wheeler. Very strange, I know. I'll be able to jump a lot less. But uh, hopefully that won't be a problem for the near future. I just want, uh, just want my ball and chain arm, my spiked ball arm. Sorry, 
There we go. And I got more. I have a higher weight capacity. I can still carry even more fancy dancy stuff. I'll come back and see you again. It's funny how I still stride, even though I'm clearly not. Yeah. I still stride, even though I'm clearly not walking. But now, I'm coming to you folks with, uh... Coming to you on this LP, this particular LP, with kind of a heavy heart, actually. I, um... I recently found out a couple days ago it was actually uh, a mysterious JG broke the news to me. But of course I had to go back and independently verify it. Not that I don't trust him, but when you hear news this shocking, you sort of need to uh, you need to you need to see for yourself. And it turns out I had actually been watching and paying attention, sort of vaguely. Um, but uh, this game was originally released in Japan in 2005. And in 2006, they announced that they were already in development of a sequel, Steambot Chronicles 2. 2006 was the year that this came out in the United States, actually. I believe I probably first got this game in, like, late 2006, early 2007, thereabouts. Um, yeah, that's the way I want to go, actually, isn't it? I can burn a lot of fuel just driving around like that, huh? Now, but, um... Anybody at the bus stop? No. Is there even a bus stop? I thought there was a bus stop. Oh, well. I was told there would be a bus stop. I'm not gonna fight you guys. What's the point? I can drive circles around you. Nice try, suckers. I'm too fast for you in my new wheelie trot mobile. Oh, I can still jump. This thing has, like, no drawbacks. Except that it makes a kind of annoying grinding noise. Wow. It is really dark. It is dark out here at night. It's dangerous to go alone. But yeah, folks, um, originally in 2006 it was announced that they were already working on a sequel. They were going to make it for PlayStation 2. Um, you know, and I think about three years later, 2009, they said, yeah, we know it's been a while since you've probably heard anything about uh, this Steambot Chronicles sequel that we were so hepped up about. Hey, it's our guys from the caravan. You know, since we got across the desert anyway, we might as well get another caravan going. Crossing the desert isn't easy. I know, man. So, do you guys want to, like, cross the desert again, or...? I doubt we'll get many requests, considering how dead it is here. Huh. So, is there no way to stop in this area? Dang it, let me pull up my map so I can see whether or not I can go talk to Delson. Nope, it's just Delson. Small store under a tent. Look, Delson, if you want, I will go with you across the desert again, because i got to go across the desert anyway. You sure you don't want to? Alright. Probably shouldn't head back in the desert for a while. You're not even gonna let me? Uh, that is very aggravating. There are lots of plot points I wanted to accomplish back in the desert. Now I've just wasted a bunch of gas. Granted, I've modified my trot mobile. That's kinda cool. But yeah, in 2009 they said, don't worry folks, we know that it's been a while since you've heard a lot about the uh, sequel to Steambot Chronicles, but there is a sequel still under development. In fact, you know, now we're going to go ahead and make it a PlayStation 3 game. Now you will notice, if you, you know, did any searching on this game or knew something about this game just on your own, um, you will note that... Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, there we go. But now, uh, sharp-eyed uh, Steambot Chronicles fans will note that they're, they did make a Steambot Chronicles game for PSP. Like Steambot Battle Tournament or something like that. And, uh, as far as I know, it's a similar enough game to this, except instead of being about a guy who lost his memory, it's about a guy who wants to become, like, the best Steambot brawler there ever was. I just died. Well, that hasn't happened yet. That's sad. Get ready for Wow. Chronicles. This is just a video of bad news, a top bad news, a top bad news. I'm telling you. No, but um they did release a Steambot Chronicles game for the PSP, Steambot Chronicles Battle Tournament. Um, but uh, they were going to release a full sequel for PlayStation 3, and apparently it got announced um, in late March that um, they have pulled the plug on development of the game for good. So there will be no sequel to Steambot Chronicles. Or so it would seem. Which, you know, doesn't seem like it should be that big a thing. I mean, as far as I'm aware, like, like I'm the only person I personally know that's ever played this game. I'm under the impression that at least one of my subscribe, one or two of my subscribers have played this game. But you know, there are people that might have just been doing YouTube searches for Steambot Chronicles, so that's not exactly a representative population. You know. Oh well. I guess I'll go to City Motors and get the claw arm again anyway, just because it's a good weapon item to have. Um. But, um. So, I mean, it may be no great loss to the gaming world as a whole. Like, people. Like, this game apparently got a generally good reception, but. They said it was a neat and interesting concept. The execution was sort of had its flaws. That it's a little buggy, and I mean, I guess it is a little buggy. There are, for example, um, there are items in this game that you can um, like. What kind of uh, what kind of legs do I currently have? I have bird leg medium, which have a weight of 102. Okay, so they have a weight of 102. What do human legs small have? Also 102. Despite its lightweight, it's built to carry cargo. You say that like I should be stunned. Alright, let's get the claw arm. Okay. And, um, let's go ahead and make some medium weight human legs. Because I feel like developing things. First, I should unequip my arm. I give my left arm. Let's just remove it. Yeah, there we go. Now, let us go back and. Okay, that's cool. Let's develop the frames. That's cool. I have developed some new eggs. And the spiked ball. This will take all of the money I have. I hope that the human legs medium have enough of a weight limit to carry my, uh... My new, uh, my new arm. Alright. 
Yeah, all right, we're still in business. All right. Oh, in that case, let's go back and let's repair and refute. How much will that cost? That'll pretty much clear us out. I've got almost no money left. Well, that's all right. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the Lobster Inn. Actually, no. Wait. Oh no. One other thing I should do while I'm still in town. I'm gonna go to St. John's Ward. Because... Oh, well, that's okay. I was gonna have to do that same amount of finagling and maneuvering around anyway. So, I guess that's good, actually. But, um... Let me go ahead and park the Trotmobile. Let me go ahead and save this data. that up here, overwrite this selected data. And there we go, and the save was successful, folks. And when we come back next time, um, we're going to go into, hopefully we'll get to go into St. John's Ward and talk to Sir John, the doctor dude, who might be able to help us with our memory. Um, and we'll probably mourn a little bit more about the loss of Steambot Chronicles 2. Uh, it kind of, I mean, you know, for a video game, it hit me kind of hard. What do you know? Um, but uh, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. And uh, I thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.